what, what it is, is so back to reaction video today we are reacting to the the interview that just came out like a couple, a couple days ago um yes. and um yeah we're really excited about watching it the reason why it's here on patreon is because I, it may it may go up on youtube we don't know yet um but we're gonna play it by ear and see if we can put it up on youtube um a lot of times with like certain channels like these like interviews and stuff like that um networks like they block it like a lot of times people may be like oh what well, it's on youtube um, it should be safe on YouTube. It's not always the case. Sometimes, like these things, do get blocked, and it's mm -hmm. not. And everyone is not the same because we have gotten strikes on plenty of videos that other people still have up to this day. True. So it's just kind of different. But we really wanted to see this really freaking bad. Everyone is raving about it. Everyone's yes. saying it's a really, really amazing interview, and we've been dying to get to this. And finally, we're able to sit here and enjoy it. So for right now, it's on Patreon. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Joy, for sending us the link for this. Um, appreciate it. We were looking for um, links over on YouTube mm -hmm. to do it um, from the links that we had seen over there, but not all of them had English subtitles. Um, you know, they say that they do, but they didn't. So yeah, yeah, we were mostly, like, yeah. <laughs> well, this looks good. So thank you, Joy, again. And we're going to get into it. Excited for I'm it. I'm really excited about this because everyone's been talking about how awesome this is, this mm -hmm. interview. So um, yeah. I, I'm always like, I always get excited for it. Supposedly, um, she's ARMY too. So I, I always feel so proud and so happy for ARMY that we're are able to interview BTS. You know, yes. Like that. That's a, such a cool thing. You know, and for, there's not like a variety of interviews that you could say that you enjoyed the interview you yeah. know like, i like a lot of zach sang zach sang is like one of my favorites i'm like a lot he's one of my favorites i love him mm -hmm. um he, he's very um great questions and everything else like that really yeah. good interview you can always tell when somebody's good at what they're doing so and he was just flustered he got flustered in the last in interview <laughs> when they were like we're proud of you jungkook was like we're proud of you who's like oh my god yes <laughs> you got yes. so flustered but yes. you were so excited it was a cute moment. um it was definitely a cute moment but yeah so we're about to dive into this right now thank y'all so much for being here. enjoy this awesome moment so we appreciate it let's get it so yeah this might be on youtube maybe later i doubt it though but we'll see Together for India. Stay strong. V. V. We have to talk about the voice. Hmm? <laughs> Aww. Jungle. I love your hair. <laughs> India, BTS army. Aplamare. Rilde. Rilde. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Sachma Shavastav and I hope that all of you who are watching the show from your homes are happy and healthy. My guests today, they are singers, they are dancers, they are songwriters, yeah, they are philanthropists and they are models. And they are very happy. <laughs> Please give it up for the biggest K-pop group in the world, BTS. Hi! Here we are! Here we are. Hi! Namaste! <laughs> what was you doing? Hi! Hi! Please go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi. I'm Zimin, nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Arm. Nice to meet you guys. Hi, I'm Shuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Jay Ho. Namaste. Nice to meet you. I'm V. Namaste. I'm Jungkook. Nice to meet you. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Worldwide handsome guy, Jin. <laughs> oh, worldwide handsome. <laughs> of course, <laughs> very, very handsome. Okay, yes. we have to talk about your song, Butter. Please tell us about the concept of the song and what was the most fun part about shooting it? Um, it's it's no it's no hard tracks. It's really it's really cool. It's just a dance pop track with summer vibes. Um, uh, we try to dance smooth like butter. That's all about this. <laughs> Her face is like yeah yeah. You know, danceable vibes to the world, and we really enjoy recording it. But many many members they um, had had a, quite a hard time to pronounce yep. the English lyrics. Yes. Right. Okay. My next question to Jin, I have to ask you that Jin when I was doing my research on you, I watched hundreds of your performances and you sing and you dance like a dream, but I went to the comments section and I saw that 90% of the comments were about how you are so handsome and I felt like, of course you are handsome, but I feel like because there's, do you think because there's so much focus on how good you look, sometimes it overshadows the fact that you are so much more than that, that you're also a very talented, Ooh, wow. Like, wow, yes, yes, yes. 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 어 일단 뭐 그렇게 생각하진 않고요. 뭐 제가 외모가 잘 생겼다고 해서 뭐 노래가 부르는 게 마이너스가 되지는 않으니까. 어 저는 더뭐 이걸 잘하고 뭐 얼굴이 잘 생겼다 해서 더 부가적으로 어 추가가 돼가지고 더 좋은 플러스 요소가 된다고 생각을 하고 
뭐 얼굴이 다른 거를 방해한다. 뭔가 이렇게 어 봤을 때 <웃음> 저쪽으로 눈이 조금 더갈 <웃음> 수는 있지만 얼굴 때문에 다른 것들이 더 이렇게 뭔가 낮아진다 기준이 낮아진다 이런 건 아니라고 생각합니다. <웃음> 그러니까 맛있는 음식에 이렇게 장식을 조금 더 추가하는 <웃음> 거. <웃음> That's a very interesting answer. Very well said. Very well said. Okay, well next question, Shoga. I want to ask you that. Um, Yo. BTS, of course, has given us a lot of songs based on your personal suffering and pain. Usually, when something happens to us in your in our lives, which is not a happy memory, we want to forget about it and not think about it. But for you, as an artist, to make songs and music inspired from difficult memories. That means you have to go back and feel all those emotions again. Is that a difficult process emotionally? Oh, I don't know. 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 지금 돌이켜 보면 좀 감사하다는 생각도 들고 왜냐하면 좀더 다양한 이야기를 할수 있었던 것 같아요, 맞지? 그리고 뭐그 당시에는 그 다시 생각해내는 게 괴로웠지만 지금은 또 그렇지 않아요. 그 내고 나면 좀 많이 해소되는 부분들이 있어가지고 저는 뭐 약간 반반인 것 같아요. So uh, is it also cathartic? Same to sugar. Is it cathartic when you actually make music out of it? Um, does it help you cope up with those emotions in the past? 저 같은 경우는 많이 도움이 된것 같고요. 그리고 이제 뭐, 뭐 많은 사람들이 되게 트라우마나 안 좋은 기억을 가지고 살지만 어느 순간 그걸 이겨내야 되는 순간이 분명히 존재하고 또그좀 정리해야 되는 순간이 분명 필요하다고 생각이 드는데 저는 그 과정 중에 아 하나가 이제 발, 음악을 발표했던 순간들인 것 같아요. Right, beautiful, very well said. Let me come to J-Hope. Firstly, I have to tell you what you did for the children in Tanzania was really, really cool. It was a really nice thing to do. Sister Hero, for those who don't know, J-Hope on Children's Day donated 100 million Korean won to the children in Tanzania who are suffering so from violence. And in fact, all the members She's of BTS aware. from time Better to time research. have donated money to help people in need, which is absolutely Aww. amazing. My question that's to amazing. you, J-Hope, oh, is that amazing. when people talk about BTS, they say most successful band in the world, they say legends of K-pop, and probably every single artist in the world wants to be where BTS is yes. today. But you are already there. When you have achieved that level of success, what is the next goal that drives you? What is the next big thing? What is that BTS dreams to achieve now? Uh, 사실 뭐 지금 와서 생각을 해보면은 정말 무궁무진한 꿈들을 가지면서 지금 이 어, 자리까지 왔지만은 사실 그 중심의 하나는 그냥 저희 것을 온전하게 잘 하고 잘 지키고 잘 즐기고 했기 때문에 그냥 뭔가 운명적으로 많은 부분들이 이루어졌다라고 생각이 들기 때문에 그냥 앞으로도 뭔가 이뭐 분명한 목표를 두다기보다는 그냥 저희 것을 또 알아서 열심히 하면은 또 많은 부분들이 오지 않을까라는 생각이 들고요. 예스. 그리고 뭐 사실 뭐 이제 또 내년에 또 그래미가 있으니까 그래미적인 부분에 대해서도 어뭐 목표를 잡으려면 잡을 수 있겠죠. 그래서 음 항상 저희 것을 열심히 하고 네, 앞으로도 어, 어, 꾸준히 뭔가 음악과 퍼포먼스를 열심히 하면서 사람들에게 좋은 음, 영광과 많은 그런 어, 즐거움을 드리고 싶습니다. Beautifully spoken. That's very well said. That's very well said, J-Hope. Okay, RM, my question to you is eight years into the business. And I think BTS has tried so many concepts and given so many genres to the audience. And the fans are really hungry for something new with every single comeback. I want to ask you that when you have tried so many things, now is it hard to sort of reinvent yourself every single time? Is it hard to surprise the audience and bring something new to the table every single time? So Basically, it's never been easy. Um, we, in average, we've been releasing like new music um, twice a year, and sometimes it happened like three times a year. And mostly, like except Dynamite and this Butter, we've been releasing like eight to ten tracks. So it's a really a lot of amount to put in, because we've never, never seen such artists like 
release this kind of amount of music and of course the contents, the videos, visuals, yes. the behind the scenes. And uh, it would be lie if I said that, if I say that there's no pressure and it's always a full of joy. But um, actually, you know, that's, uh, that's what's fun about this whole life and the career. Um, that was our, one of the biggest reasons that made our um, current position, actually. Fans and people always expect the new um, creativity of ourselves, our new images, new hair, new music, new messages, and our new kind of everything. So it's been pressure, but thanks to the pressure, we've been um, trying to practice and trying to create the new images. In summary, I'll, I'll say like it's never been easy and it will never be, but it's still fun. And that's one of the so? biggest I know, but they say, what is going on have. here? That, that's what BTS I'm is right now. I'm trying to focus in on and will be forever, I think. You are always so articulate, RM. When you speak, it's always so articulate and so intellectual. It's always a pleasure to listen to you. Thanks like, for saying really, that. You speak so oh. well. Okay, my question <laughs> yeah, to Jimin. I love this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I love this, man. This chemistry is, is amazing. absolutely <laughs> incredible and enormous in the world. Uh, but the thing is, there's so much scrutiny that every single thing that you might say, every sentence is dissected on social media, every single picture taken is also discussed on social media. Can that be intimidating and dying? Do you think it makes you think twice before you might do anything or say anything on camera? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say, 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 어 저희를 관심을 가지고 저희를 이렇게 봐주시는 mm -hmm. 분들이 많다는 거를 느끼고 또 저희의 어 이런 뭔가 말과 행동들이 어 어느 사람에게는 누군가에게는 또 좋은 영향이 될수 있다는 사실이 굉장히 저희에게 어 행복한 일이기도 한것 같아요. 그래서 더욱 더 긍정적이고 좋은 영향을 나눠주고 싶다는 생각이. 우리가 더 커지지 않았나 그런 생각이 듭니다. Very classy, very very classy. Okay. <웃음> She can be classy. We have to talk about your voice. V. You have a beautiful voice and it has the power to Aww. make the listener feel a lot of emotions and it's sexy and it's um, it's just amazing and just keeps getting better and better with time. I want to ask you, is that something that you have worked on Look at that and polished pose, it with yeah. a lot of vocal exercising and, and practice? Or is this something that a singer just has to be born with and no matter how much you practice, you can't get it if you don't already have it? <laughs> is he flirting? <laughs> oh my god, so cute! I I a lot of I a lot of 저도 많이 갈고 닦아 가지고 <웃음> 이렇게 장점으로 바뀔 수 있지 않았나 싶습니다. <웃음> it's a beautiful voice. It's like if you sing all night, the world will listen all night. Okay, Jungkook. First of all, I love your hair. It's absolutely stunning. Good choice of color. I want to ask you that BTS has had a slow journey to the top. You guys Aww. have had your fair share of struggle in the beginning of your career. I want to ask you what is the one important thing that, like a lesson that you learned in that time, which is very valuable, something that you carry with you till now and will stay with you forever. Ah, uh, 저는 진짜로 데뷔 전부터 지금까지 멤버들한테서 배운 것도 너무 많고 그리고. 제가 이렇게 막 사회생활 하면서도 배운 것도 너무 많고 그래가지고 뭐 하나 하나 꼽을 수 없는데 아 그리고 저는 약간 배웠다기보다 제 주위 환경이 너무 좀 좋은 사람들밖에 없었어가지고 좀 되게 고마 고마운 마음 뭐 뭔가 배우려고 하지 않았지만 좀 그렇게 만들어진 것 같아서 되게 고맙다고 생각하고 모르겠는데 아또 <웃음> 사람 지금 지금도 
사람이 되어가고 있지 않나 그런 생각합니다. <웃음> Okay, one more thing. Um, of course, because you guys have such busy schedules, I'm sure there are days when you're very tired. Uh, on days when you're tired uh, and emotionally exhausted, how, you, how do you manage to turn up on set and deliver a performance where you're supposed to look happy That's and excited? That's a great question. Uh, well, 저, 저희 팬분들이 저희를 지켜보는 거잖아요. 그, 그러니까 저희는 뭐 되게 굉장히 대충 할수 없다. 뭐 이런 생각을 가지고 네, 우리 팬분들이 보는 거니까 열심히 하자. 이러면서 다들 피곤해도 다 참고 이겨내고 하는 것 같습니다. How professional. It's very professional. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately India is going through a very difficult time right now because of the COVID-19. And in the middle of that, your BTS Indian Army managed to raise 2 million Indian rupees within 24 hours and donate it to the patients and counting. Uh, please share a message for them. It will mean so much to them. Thank you for the beautiful armies in India. Um, we miss you and we hope that we could be, be there in front of you as, as fast as possible. And let us stay strong in these challenging times. Our prayers go to everyone currently fighting against COVID-19. And we hope to see you soon safe and sound. Army, do not lose hope. We're together for India. Stay strong. Aww. Stay strong. Let's go. Okay, I have to ask you this because the Indian Army wants to know, when is BTS coming to India for a concert? Uh, we truly hope that the situation gets as, as soon as possible, better as soon as possible. And if the opportunity comes, I, can't, I hope we can see each other like safely. We send our best wishes for India's help. Um, many, including UNICEF, our partner for the Love Myself campaign, are sending their support as well. So we're, we're aware that India is suffering badly from the pandemic. So after it, um, we, truly, we truly hope that we can, we can be there and like, you know, claim that things are over and we're here together right now. Oh, we can't have, we're like, wait to have you as well. It'd be such an honor for, if BTS comes to India. There are so many fans who are just waiting for you to come. They're already saving money for the tickets, by the way. Um, okay, we cannot wrap up without one thing. There's a tradition on our show whenever we have a foreign artist. We request them to say one sentence in our language, Hindi. So is it okay if I make you say one sentence in Hindi? Oh, she even yeah. asked permission. So uh, is it okay if I make you say, uh, Indian BTS army, you live in our heart? Is, it, is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Super. Say Indian BTS Army. Indian BTS Army. Aap hamare. Aap hamare. Dil me. Dil me. Rehte hain. Rehte hain. Awesome. You, you guys are so fast. Can we have that in one go? Can we have that in one go? Come on. One more time. Yes, yes. Okay. What is it? Indian BTS Army, Aap Hamare Dil Me Rehte Hain. Aap Hamare Dil Me Rehte Hain. Rehte Hain? RM got it. Okay. Out of time. RM got it. Indian BTS Army, Aap Hamare Dil Me Rehte Hain. Ah, one more. Okay, one more. Retake. Aap Hamare Dil Me Rehte Hain. Incredible. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to have you on my show. It was my honor. And uh, I, you guys make the world such a happy place. I hope that all the happiness multiplies into a thousand times and comes back to you. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take thank care you. of yourself. Thank bye you. bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. bye. Jungkook, I thought you'd say the part in Blood, Sweat and Tears where I remember you were in the air suspended with your waist with a string. <laughs> 그거 생각보다 어려운 게 전혀 없습니다. 그냥 배, 벨트 메고 그냥 위로 올라가면 자동으로 올려줘요. 근데 되게 재밌습니다. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 못해, 못해, 못해. <laughs> Alright, um, 
Oh, I could amazing. listen to her talk to them all this day. Was a, this was like this was like literally like the coolest thing about these like interviews like this like um it's like that basically it's just like her having a conversation with them and it's not really like diving like you know what I'm saying like she's not like it's not it didn't feel like an interview it felt like she was ans- like asking their, yeah. them asking them like really really good questions really good questions like yes. th- these are the best questions I've ever heard of an interview um because it was so in depth but it was more natural it was like, it kind was of like a, natural, a conversation like ayo yes. blah 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 not like that but like you know what I'm saying like yeah. it was so natural it wasn't like a like a, almost like a robotic like I'm reading off a paper like kind of question it was more so like just like a natural kind of like the one about gin, it was like such a natural yes. thing. Like you know, yeah, I love I love it so much. Yeah, but like, yeah, like literally, like when you said something about goosebumps, I feel like I did get goosebumps I off did the get jump. Goosebumps when the because questions, I was like, oh, this is good. The questions were so good. Questions mm-hmm. that you yourself don't always think of to sit here and but something think, that you wanted to know. Yeah, it's you like, I mean? like you might not me personally come up with some of the questions that she had, but mm-hmm. she asked questions not just. I felt like she didn't make this about her. She knew what Army wants to ask. She wants. She knew what Army wants to know, and even just showing, spreading light on what Indian Army had done over there. Like she made them aware if they didn't already know, which I thought was great. Um, even asking and saying, like speaking in Hindi, like the one sentence. I felt like that was so respectful as well because she said, this is what we normally do, one sentence, is that okay? And she kept asking, yeah, like, is okay, that okay? Yeah. Can we say that? So I felt like that was respectful. The questions were great. It's not like your normal, um, like, who do you want to collab with? When you're in America, what is the favorite food that always, you like to eat? The least, um, like, who are you listening to who, these who, who days? Who doesn't dance as well in the group or something? Yeah, some, like, to like single like, out you know different things like, like that. It was literally like... It was cool to um even even about the gin thing about like saying like you know that was really I thought that was really that that's probably my my favorite part of the interview was that one just of those because questions, like yeah. um it's cool to like shine light on gin and be like let like say like does your looks like kind of overcome like that you're mm-hmm. really good at dancing you're really good at singing like you know what I'm you saying? are like, good at all you're known this, as but you're worldwide also very handsome, good but looking, you're worldwide and dancing. that's what we see and, in the comments and that's what we always know was what army knows like you mm-hmm. know so it, you know how hard he he practiced in the beginning to become yeah. where he is today he's an amazing dancer he's singing and everything like, I'm so just, it, it's like so garnishing like, a delicious I, food it was like <laughs> just like my favorite part of the interview because like that was cool and like gin as gin you know probably got like a little bit blushed up by like oh that's a good question like oh thank you he like started Make it into like more yeah. of like a funnier like statement, mm-hmm. which is so gin, like you know what I'm saying. Yes. But it, it was special that that moment was special. The Tay and her the interaction was the interaction awesome. was so cute. <laughs> I love that. Just just the way that she talked to each, Jim each and, of Jim them individually, like, <laughs> like like looking over and like laughing like. <laughs> yes, like, she called what was that fancy or oh I, oh yeah um, I can think of other words. Yeah, he was like elegant. Yeah, he was like. like Come I like it. Um, but no, it was very, very good. I felt good the whole entire time. Um, Great interview. 100%. She was, she's a really good interviewer. I hope she gets another chance to interview them again. Because she has very thought out, researched questions. And that she really cares about them. And you could tell. Yeah. And then you could tell that the boys were comfortable. Because they were just themselves. They were either the sit back. Or that they were really invested in the questions listening. Oh yeah. For for Arm, uh, Arm too. For sure. Like the, the, like her asking Nam Jun. Like telling him. Like just after. Like you're such an inter- like, intellect. Like you're thank so you smart. Thank you Like that. yeah. He's like thank you. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's so spe- It's like. Building them it's up. Like, if you could literally tell Army. Uh, if Army could talk and ask questions to BTS. These were like these it. Would be <laughs> it. <laughs> these were like it. Like, you know. I yes. love it. It was good. And, and highlighting what's important about the music, you know, mm-hmm. like the questions about, um, you know, coming up with more and more ideas. Do you feel pressured about that? Um, is it hard? And like even just hearing June like list off everything that they have been doing as of recent, it really puts you into perspective. You're getting like three comebacks. You're getting albums. You're getting... Um, yeah, yeah. All of the stuff for Festa, that is a lot of stuff that they're practicing for. And, you know, asking the question about, like, how do you handle being tired? And they're like, well, we're doing it for, you know, our fans and ARMY and 
We another good question. We just because work through it. It's you another know? good question too. Like it's, I feel like it's kind of like a, almost like an underrated Knowing question that uh, you're in that tired, because there's so many good inter- there were so many good questions. But that's probably one of the underrated questions too. It's mm-hmm. like it's like literally like um, it's special for them to be like, yeah, we're doing this for you guys because of the COVID thing mm-hmm. and everything. We needed we needed the BTS to save our 2020 and 2021, in which they did. And you know, so it's cool that and, that was like a and question. highlighting Yoongi, like talking about. Um, oh, that was a good question. Yeah, that was that, a really good was, one too. I really love that really question. Wanting to go back to the past, you know, going back towards the past and, and ex- reliving and those moments it. and stuff like that, and like reliving them in order to get through them, and also reliving them to help us get through those moments. Yeah, we that may was be a living damn. Through. There was too many. Really, the, too many questions. Honestly, <laughs> every question was great. Yeah, it was. I crazy. loved all the interactions. This was like I loved it a great interview so thank you so much for requesting it bringing it to our attention that it was a must see if this gets up on youtube um i'm sorry guys uh it was kind of like a delay we just wanted to make sure it was okay first you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying um Mm -hmm. uh, patreon fam that's here thank you so much for hanging out with us and vibing with us we appreciate it we appreciate you guys sending us the link Mm -hmm. uh joy for sending us the link um great quality amazing great quality quality. i i love this like I love her. Yeah. I'm gonna go follow all her social media. <laughs> go follow her like Instagram and everything. Yeah, she, she, I guess she's like a big, con- like a big uh, radio host, maybe, or just yeah. a host in general. I like really want to just interviewer. I don't know what they call them, interviewers. I'm uh, not BTS, sure. BTS, any any people that they interact with that what I do feel. What they call people to interview people? Like just interviewers, or I, I don't guess. know. Interviewer. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Um, just like when cool they movies. share their music or an interview is good, you do go check out those other people. For and sure. They become your like you know part of your family as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, so it's great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching with us. We appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it like we did. Let us know yes. comments down below what you thought about this interview, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, we'll see you all in yeah. the next video. Peace. Uh, peace.